Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So in today's video, I am doing this makeup look. So this is my go-to makeup look and it's my current makeup routine. So I have changed a few little things since I've done one of these videos last. There are a few products that have changed, but honestly, a lot of them are the same. I absolutely love these products. And this video is for those of you guys that want to gain some confidence and you put on your makeup and you're like, something's not looking right. I think I can look so much better. This video is for those of you who want to feel better if you're having a bad day and you do this makeup look and honestly I think you will feel a lot better and that's what I do when I'm feeling down or sad or if I'm having a down day if I'm if I put on makeup I will feel so much better and I just really like the way I look with my makeup on and I love this makeup routine. I get so so many compliments on this makeup look like I have never had a makeup look where I get so many compliments before um even above my like cut creases and my crazy glitter makeup and all that makeup looks that i did back in the day like yeah i got compliments on that but not as much as this makeup look and i feel like it enhances your natural features and just really brings out your eyes and your lips and just just flows i just feel like less is more sometimes and i know i'm like not got the most minimal makeup on right now but i really like the way this makeup looks and i feel so pretty and so glam and i feel like a barbie honestly i really like this makeup also don't forget to thumbs up this video if you want to see more videos like this let me know down below in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see next and subscribe to my channel i upload every monday at 8 a.m new zealand time and youtube shorts every other day um yeah i try to upload youtube shorts every day and i try to stick to my youtube schedule but sometimes that is not the case um but anyway forgive me so if you guys want to know how to do this makeup look and get lots of compliments on your makeup then just keep on watching okay so let's just get started into the makeup look i'm gonna feel so much better once i put makeup on my skin has been really bad again i'm gonna start off with the skin quencher primer and moisturizer and this has hyaluronic acid aloe vera vitamin c and e and this is from db cosmetics i love this Okay, so that's on. If you guys want to cover your acne first, you can. If you guys didn't see my video a little while back, I did like how to get flawless, a flawless base. And this is what I did. So I took the NARS Creamy, Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. And I always forget to do this, but it works so much better. If you have bad skin and like you're like, oh, I need a more cover full coverage foundation. You don't actually need a fuller coverage foundation. You're just going to do this first on your skin. And if you want to see more in-depth tips and tricks on how to get your foundation like flawless, like your base, then you can watch that video of mine because I guarantee it'll be really helpful for you guys. And so your under eyes look nice and refreshed. I take an eye cream. So I use the Balance Ageless Eye Cream Advanced Visible Lifting Effect. I got this from Cosmetic Clinic if you guys are from New Zealand. You know, the older we get, the better it is if you keep your under eyes hydrated. And it's got like this little silver ball that vibrates. I barely turn on the vibrator thing. But yeah, the cream is still good even though it's like quite old this stuff but i haven't got any irritations from it okay my under eyes feel really refreshed with that eye cream so i definitely recommend like doing an eye cream if you guys don't already you'll just see such a nice difference okay so next step is that foundation and this one suits my fake tan really nice little nicely this is a new one this is the third bottle i've gone through so you can tell like i've tried so many foundations and this one is just beautiful like the coverage the glow the luminosity it is stunning and because i've already done that concealer layer underneath you don't need much i only probably use like three pumps for my whole face my forehead never used to get pimples but all of a sudden i've got like four pimples up there which is so annoying Okay, so I'm going to take the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish and put this under my eyes. Um, I don't need to wait long for this to set under my eyes because it is quite full coverage, but I put on about that much. I used to put on so much more concealer back in the day. No wonder why I used to like crease like crazy. Oh, Okay, and I don't want to wait too long to blend this out because if I wait too long, then it gets like all patchy under my eyes and quite gross so 
yeah we're not having that but anyway what have you guys been doing let me know down below in the comments how has your summer holiday been anyway my friend Sachin who did my makeup for my wedding was using this concealer and I was like it looks so good my face was flawless so I definitely bought that concealer next step is the Charlotte Tilbury contour one so I love this stuff um this is amazing I'm just gonna do it everywhere where I normally do um contour I literally just dot it on like this most of my uh makeup products are is Charlotte Tilbury so so I wouldn't normally leave the contour on my skin for this long because I always have like a scary feeling that it's not going to blend in but it is blending in really beautifully right now I don't know why but it always seems to be when I film YouTube videos my makeup goes better than what it would like when I don't which is so annoying oh my god I got something in my eye okay so I'm gonna put on this blush this one is from mm, Charlotte Tilbury as well this is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand High Blush in Pinkasm this one is stunning and it's funny how much I do oh it's funny how differently I do my makeup now like I don't set my face yet until I do like all the liquids then I set everything and I would have never done that like back in the day so yeah the things we learn and I just blend this all in with a beauty blender um anyway how's life been like for you guys have you guys got any travel plans um I'm so excited I have mentioned this in like another YouTube video or two before and in a TikTok or two TikToks um but um me and the whole family are going to Turkey how exciting is that I know it's sad though because all those earthquakes just happened like a few weeks ago but we aren't going near where those earthquakes are um we're going to Istanbul um and then we're going to Cappadocia and then we're going to Gallipoli for the day but that's the main places we're going I really wanted to go to like the coast of Turkey and stuff but um I'm mostly just going there like for my septorhinoplasty if you guys didn't know I'm getting that done so I'm actually really nervous but excited at the same time yeah I'm just really really looking forward to it and the whole family is coming with me so how exciting is that I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Goldgasm um, I stopped using this for a bit but I do really like it so yeah me and the whole family are going it was first originally me and Matthew and then Mum and dad like oh we'll come and I was like oh that's actually not a bad idea because I would like their support you know because I am going under surgery and I never have before and I'm like shitting myself secretly I'm trying to like film a TikTok at the same time um but yeah so anyway I will probably do a vlog on my nose job experience um, I am getting a septorhinoplasty because I haven't been able to breathe through my nose properly for years and it's getting worse the older I get so yeah it'll be weird being able to like breathe properly as well but I'm also getting my nose like a little bit cuter too because it is quite crooked from the front and I don't like this bump when I turn to that side this is my good side kind of <laughs> and this is my bad side I'm sure you guys can relate with having a good and bad side okay so after all of those base products look how glowy my face is it looks so nice so I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in number one fear and then I set what I just did well not everywhere that's a thing so everyone's like mm, wouldn't you just be setting over everything no but I'm just setting like in the t-zone and over like my pores because that's how to like minimize them and I do go over my nose just a little bit because that's where I get quite oily and I do just do a dab like here on my forehead and down my smile lines Okay, so I'm just going to put some bronzer on. I love packing on the bronzer because it just makes me look so sunkissed and I think it really, like, frames your face. Like, I just, you know, when some people wear, like, a full face of makeup and they don't put much bronzer on and then they just look, like, flat or one colour. Like, it's good to add some dimension to your makeup. I also do it like over here because I really like that filter look like I don't know I just think it makes me look so cute so yeah I just do that it looks a bit intense but I love it <laughs> so now I use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule look at this 
very well loved this has been sold out for so long so i'm so glad mine has lasted me forever and my friends love using this whenever they borrow my makeup so i am just putting this on the cheekbones I have been going to a lot of gigs and festivals. I went to Splore. I don't know if you guys seen my vlog, um, but that was so much fun. Like Smirnoff gave me tickets and I was so appreciative and that was like such a fun experience. By the way, after that blush, I put on the L'Oreal Blush Sculpt Trio in Soft Rosy and I used this like really pink shade up here. I haven't been able to find a blush like that from any other brand. Not that I like mind using this blush, but I don't know. I would want like another blush that's like the whole pan is that color not just that little half okay so next is brows it's annoying because i really love the benefit precisely my brow pencil but it doesn't have a spoolie on the end so i use the gimme brow and volumizing pencil in 3.75 it's got the spoolie um so at the moment i've just been using the spoolie because it's like the perfect small shaped spoolie i really need to like tint my brows again i tint my own brows i bought my own brow tint kit and i've already got the title here um brow lamination kit so i'm just gonna do that from now on because being self-employed i was like i need to really like save and stop spending on these things and that's why i'm glad i got my hair like this because i barely have to go to the hairdresser i just need to like get a tone every now and again and maybe like a root blend every few months oh and then i always like carve out my brows as well it helps me to get that winged out shape and it's because i've had my brows like microbladed before which i kind of wish i didn't do so much at the tips of the brows because now i like them like straight out it just gives that like model brow look and then i'm going to quickly contour my nose so i've done an in-depth video on this on my channel and it's actually growing quite fast on my channel so i'm glad you guys are liking it um if you guys want to see a more in-depth contouring video then just go over to my channel and search early stones nose contour how to contour a crooked nose i think that's how I worded it I think this freckles technique just looks so cute I don't know I'm obsessed with it but I just go like this and then I just dot some freckles on and I'm gonna try not do them too intense because sometimes I just blot it on really intensely but this is the color stay Revlon semi-permanent brow ink and this just works so well for freckles so go Revlon this is for brows but it works perfectly as freckles. Anyway, out of all the eyeshadow palettes I have, I always, always use the Morphe Madison Bear Channel Surfing Artistry Palette. It is really gross, and I feel like I need new one of these, but too bad they're discontinued. I'm using this one here, which is well loved, and I've also starting to mix it with this color here, so it's not so like orangey. But yeah, this is the makeup look that I will always do, and I always feel so like good. When I do this makeup look and this is the Sigma type of blending E40 brush and it's so nice because it's like huge so you can't really make a mistake um, with putting on your makeup. I nearly forgot this part but before I do the rest of my eyeshadow I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I really like this one. I'm just gonna dab this and do this under here like this. And I'm gonna carve out that eyeshadow as well, just a little bit. Um, yeah, this is perfect for that, but this is also good for brightening under the eyes, which I like. And then, just to add a bit of sparkle to the eye, I like to take this shade here, which is pretty much empty, so I've been mixing it with this one. Um, a nice, like, goldy, shimmery shade. I put that on with my finger. And I just tap it on top of my lid. I don't know, I just feel like this just draws a little bit of attention to the eyes and looks really nice. So. And then I put some like under here just a little bit to add a little bit of shimmer to that inner corner. And I'll just go on with the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. Look at this. I literally have so many highlighters, but I love this shade. Oh my god. 
it's so funny i always laugh at myself because like i've got all this makeup like so much makeup more than anyone would ever need but i just go to the same old makeup products and that's why like you don't need a massive collection to feel and look glam you just need like some essential products that literally work and so now i'm doing the pillow talk push-up lashes from charlotte tilbury i really like this formula this one is stunning so i really like this mascara it does really push up your lashes my lashes are getting so long from lash serum that i use from lash population it is amazing okay so next step is the wings so oh what am i doing so i'm using the anastasia beverly hills Alyssa edwards palette um, I really like this palette and it's very cute, very colourful, but I pro purely use this palette just for the white and these two shades down here. So like I said, I feel like I need a palette where all of this is in one because it's ridiculous how I use two palettes for a look like this. All I do is draw like a small little wing up like this. I feel like a wing makes all the difference. I used to do this with liquid liner, but I've been really liking it instead with eyeshadow because I feel like it looks more natural. But I'll zoom you guys in. I'm going to do the inner corner now. So I just literally draw it on with a bit of eyeshadow. I'm just going to push some like up here just to darken my lashes a little bit and then i'm gonna push some black up in the lash line here and just before lips the next step is i'll grab this white eyeshadow and put it in the in a corner and this will help to like carve out that um in a corner line as well I also take that white and I put a little bit at the arch of my brow as well. This is the Last in Colour Collection lipstick in number 8 Sweet Tart. I don't even know if you can get this anymore but just if you want to do this get a bright lipstick like this colour or some kind of like cream blush but I find lipstick is more pigmented and I'm literally just going like this over my nose yes it seems excessive but blush is the first thing that fades off of you so if you do this it literally just lasts for hours like hours longer than a powder blush will and yeah like i said blush is always the first thing to fade off so this just looks way better oh and then i'll also take some of that dark shadow and put some down my brows and really make sure they're pointed out like at the end this is still something that I've been doing because the like brow pencil can sometimes look a bit light so yeah this just darkens them a bit at the end and then I just go like this to make sure any like glitter is out my brows or powder or whatever and next is lip liner I really love the Urban Decay lip liner in 1993 i use that literally once and then i lost it in the bar i was so gutted i always do this like i bring it in my like little mini bags and then i must like go to apply my lipstick and then it falls out my bag it's happened twice i literally brought the charlotte tilbury iconic nude lip liner lost that at the same pub and then i bought my new one i brought it and it was like 40 bucks and i lost that one as well so i was like i'm never bringing lip liner to the pub again anyway so let me do this lip liner and i really overdraw my lip before i do lip liner hang on a moment let me put on my fake lashes i almost forgot i almost forgot so i'm using the ardell lift effect lashes in 745 and i actually cut them in half these ones are my favorite they had actually sent me a whole bunch more of the the style so i was really grateful for that i'm just going to stick these on with lash glue and the lash glue i use is the 
duo quick set strip lash adhesive okay so that's what it looks like with the lashes on i really like it i really like how i did my nose contour today too i put a little bit more effort into it and my nose actually look straight and lifted it's insane anyway let's put on this lip liner and i'm going to show you how much i overdraw my lips like it's insane so oh is this zoomed in enough for you guys okay watch and learn It seems excessive, but because I've had lip filler, I can get away with it because, like, I can't explain it. Like, my lip liner has always been lower than the actual volume of my lips, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not migration. I mean, I might have a little bit of migration, obviously, but I've always had, like, a wider border than my actual lip line, so I can actually get away with overdrawing the whole thing. And I have been loving doing like ombre lips lately and not just making it like one color. So I take the Katy Perry and color. Cover Girl Katie Cat Matte Lipstick in Pink Pores. This isn't available anymore, but look how small it is. I'm so gutted because I'm sure I'm not going to find another lipstick like this. I just need to keep searching. But I put this like just in the center like that. I literally like tap it on. And then what I'll do is I'll go in with the lip liner again. This works so much better with the Urban Decay lip liner because it's slightly like... It's slightly more of like a purpley nudey tone that sounds awful but it's like slightly darker nude than this one and it just works even better so i'm definitely gonna purchase that lip liner again i'm so gutted i lost it like we're just wasting money over here i put on a little bit of lip gloss i have been loving this lip gloss but i don't know i like the ombre effect i feel like this takes it away from it a little bit but this is the makeup revolution pout bomb plumping lip gloss in kiss and I'm just gonna like just do a little bit. Okay, and last step is setting spray. So this will lock everything into place. Oh no, actually, hang on, before setting spray, we've got one more step to do, which is the Laura Mercier setting powder. And this just helps to really carve out your carve out the jaw like this and then I just kind of blend it away with my fingers and a little bit with the bronzer brush now I do the setting spray so let's spray this bad boy on And this just helps to like minimize the pores as well because this is the professional super setter long lasting makeup setting spray and it helps lock on makeup softens the look of pores and it feels weightless i don't actually know if this softens look of pores but i like it anyway how it just like sets all my powders in place so I recommend this one. Okay guys, so here is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love the way it turned out. Um, so I really wanted to show you those things that I've been doing lately in my makeup routine. Um, I love this makeup look. I just feel so good. It gives me so much confidence and honestly it will make you feel so much better if you are feeling like yuck. Try out this makeup look and you will be you'll be forever grateful. So with my fringe, I just use this Bondi Boost like blow dry at this thing. Is the best thing ever this is not sponsored but i did get sent this for free um my fringe has been annoying me lately and it's just not sitting right but i use this i literally just spin it around and then like it's a blow dryer as well so then it just gets nice and fluffy and even like that if you want to change your makeup routine and if you think your makeup doesn't look quite right or you think it can look better than it does then please try out this makeup routine that i do I honestly think it changes me so much like it just changes my features but it enhances my features as well um and it makes me feel so much more better and confident so yeah i hope you guys like this video if you do then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i upload every monday at 8 a.m new zealand time yes i have been slack on that date of posting lately i've been posting like whatever day of the week it is i will see you guys in my next video bye